Today we will have a look at the following calculus problem which is taken from this following textbook. We have a figure that shows a circular arc of length S and a chord of length D both subtended by a central angle theta. We have to find the limit of theta going to zero from the positive direction of S divided by D. Let's have a look at the solution. So I've redrawn the diagram and I've made the radius of the circle equal to R. And I've also labeled four points A, B, O and D. One thing to note is D is the midpoint of A, B and also OD is perpendicular to AB. We also have that OD bisects the angle AOB. So we have angle AOD and BOD are both equal to theta over 2. This gives us Using trigonometry, we have AD is equal to R times sine theta over 2, and BD is also equal to R times sine theta over 2. If we add up AD and BD, so if we add these up, we get the value of D, and this is going to be equal to 2R times sine theta over 2. Also, we can use the arc length formula to find length of the arc S and length of the arc is R times theta. Now we can start computing the value of this limit. So the limit of theta going to 0 plus of S over D. We can now substitute our two formulas in terms of theta and R. So we get the limit of R, th R theta divided by 2 R sine theta over 2. And we can write this as the limit of theta over 2 divided by sine of theta over 2. Now we can make the substitution of alpha being equal to theta over 2. And now we get the limit of alpha going to 0 plus of alpha divided by sine alpha. Now we'll be using a well-known limit, which is limit of alpha going to zero plus of sine alpha divided by alpha is equal to one. And we can see we have almost the same thing here, except it's a reciprocal. So what we can do is write limit of alpha over sine alpha. This is the same as the reciprocal of sine alpha divided by alpha. And the so limit of the reciprocal is the same as doing 1 divided by the limit of sine alpha over alpha. And since we already know the denominator over here is equal to 1, we have 1 divided by 1. And this gives us our final answer. And the final answer is 1. So this means if we go back to the top. The ratio of the lengths of S and D will approach 1 as the angle theta goes towards 0. This concludes the solution to this calculus problem. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.